we're going to be estranging um, the Anambra killing. It's mm. quite unfortunate, and mm. um, there's been a lot of uproar on social media. Um, the police, too, have come out to to tell their part of the story. And um, as a professional in the security field, we just would like to get your opinion on how the police um, have handled the issue thus far. And so what do you think, or do you think that the police handled this unfortunate incident very well? Well, um, first of all, let me note that what happened in Anambra State is a uh, tragedy, you know, um, for which we wish that uh, it didn't happen. Um, and my heart goes out to the families of the victims and those who were injured, who are receiving treatment to the hospitals. Um, having said that, um, well, the police have, um, it's on record that the police have, and the state, Anambra State govern, gov, you know, government, through the governor, have said that this, this was the culmination of an ongoing um, gang war between two drug lords who are based, who are natives of the community, but based in South Africa. Um, uh, but, I mean, different figures have also been uh, given out, ranging between eight and 12. I, I, mean, I, I mean, the, no, the number of casualties, not talk of those who, are, who were injured and are receiving tr treatment. But of course, it's not, um, it's not surprising that uh, in this country we have pro problem with figures. It's always difficult to put a hand on the actual accurate figure of casualties. Um, the other concern I have is that um, if you look at the elsewhere, you will expect that when such a tragedy happens, the first thing to do is to secure the scene. But what we have seen is that already the scene of crime has been tampered with and compromised because people had access, taking videos and, and photographs. You look at the you know, social media, you see images of the scene, which shows clearly that uh, there was no effort on the part of the police to secure the scene to ensure forensic mm. examination of the scene to find out the actual you know um cause of this uh, it is it, it is true that the police have said this is a, a, a result of two drug war laws fighting but i'm worried how police arrived at this while i'm not doubting them but i i, I need to see evidence that this is what happened because um within a few hours after this the police and the governor said, I don't, well, there's no evidence that any arrest has been made. Those who were injured, the survivors who have not had their, their you know, testimonies, and the police are saying that this is a, a, an outcome of you know, two people fighting. And of course, you know, if you also consider what has been going on before now, the threats, there are um, voice messages you know, in circulation in Hausa language, threatening to deal with people from this part of the country. And I have not seen any proactive measure on the part of the police to actually identify the source of this and apprehend those responsible and guarantee protection for the people who are being threatened. So when you put all this, it, all, 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 all this you know, together, it's, it shows that, 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 that there could be more to what we have had mm. than what really is um, well there are a number of people who also actually agree with um, your line of reasoning there's been those who blatantly rejected the narrative of, of the police and um, first I'd like to ask what does this tell about the integrity of the Nigerian police as a whole in the first place th there is um, Nigerian still doubts the capacity of the police to, you know, protect them. Nigerians doubt the capacity of the police to investigate, carry out, you know, thorough investigation on incidents such as this. And so, th th this is just um, one of those occasions when um, Nigerians have opportunity to question the integrity of the claims by the police. So it's it's that public doubt, that's, you know, um, um, there's this sense of, you know, Nigerians don't seem to, you know, believe in that because, in, oh, and, and this is as a result of history, 
history. We have seen occasions in the past when something happens, somebody is killed, and people say it's assassination, the police say no, this is armed robbery. And at the end of the day, we don't, we, we, we don't get to see indeed what it was, you know. Take the case of Bola you know. You, you know, you, you, of course, you, you know that when, when, when it happened, the theory police came with was armed robbery, you know, until today, investigation into that tra tragedy has not been you know, concluded. We don't know the outcome of it. So Nigerians uh, don't seem to trust the police because they have not given them reason to trust them. Well, could it also be that some of these Nigerians just want something to fit into their narrative of war and war between the um, southern part of the country and the northern part? Could it just be that they want some kind of narrative to fit into, into these happenings? It's also possible because, just like I said, you know, um, preceding this was what I already, you know, you know, talked about, the messages in circulation. And we, because there was no effort on the part of the security agents, not even got, got the government has not come out to make any statement on the response to, to, to this. So people feel... It, unprotected, people feel insecure, people feel that government is not there for them. So it is possible for people to, you know, latch on this kind of thing to advance their theory, their already made up mind proposition about what is happening. And of course, this country has never been as divided along ethnic and religious lines today as it was in, in the past. And so this, these type of things help to feed on that you know, you know, that uh, existing uh, notion that it's north versus south. And it is because government has not done anything to ensure that every citizen of this country is secured wherever he or she, you know, re resides. Mm. So with all that has happened now, um, what would you say is the right step for the Nigerian police to take? First, in ensuring that the perpetrator of these evil acts are brought to book, and then to allay the fears of, of the Anambra people generally. Let, 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 let me be very clear about something. Although, uh, you know, it, it, it's, the tendency is always to blame the police, but the truth is that the police themselves are victims. Hmm. Uh, it's clear that the police are not well-funded, not equipped, not well-equipped enough to do their job, they are not well motivated. And so the tendency is they don't even have the, in terms of forensic, there is deficit in capacity. In terms of even the facilities to do the, the job, it, it's not there. The funds are not there. You know, the, the training is not there. The, equi the equipment is not there. And so I, I don't expect that the Nigerian police will be able to deal with, with, with this. So it falls back on the police is the sole responsibility of the federal government. And the federal government has a duty to, a, to adequately equip the police, ensure that they are well trained and well motivated to discharge their functions. And of course, the, the, this is what has led to the call for state police because truth is the Nigerian police is too over-centralized, is too large for a, is too, is too, is too, Nigeria is too large for a one size fits police. If you look at what is going on, states are already beginning to, you know, create what seems to be police in their, in, in their states, which means that there's need. And of course, police also, states, governments are already or, or continue to contribute funds to the police in their states, which shows that the federal government cannot alone adequately fund the police. And even the little fund that goes to the police gets preferred. Mm. You know, so it's a whole lot of cycle of, you know, um, of tragedy, corruption that, that, need, that needs to be addressed by the government. What do you think can be done to ensure that these people who perpetuated this evil act can be brought? Yeah, in spite of the incapacity that I have talked about, we have seen occasions when police have been able to crack some, you know, cases. I think it is, it is possible... In spite of my concern that the crime scene has been, has been co co compromised because people have been allowed to you know, tamper with the scene. But I think that nobody has been arrested so far. Mm -hmm. Names have been 
mention the same people involved in this are from that community. So it is not difficult to, 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 to arrest them. The people who were injured, who are receiving you know, uh, um, treatment in hospital, are, are supposed to tell their own stories of what happened so that we know exactly, since they were witnesses, they need to tell us what happened. Then the police needs to track down these people who they claim are the perpetrators because they have, they know where they come from, they come from that community. So they need to get them arrested and interrogate them and so that we get the true. And of course, people are also saying that the person who came and opened fire w w had his face covered, you know. Some have said he was not even speaking in, in the local la language. Others said he was. So all these are things that those who witnessed incidents and the perpetrators and the, the families that have been mentioned are in a position to, to, to ex these are information that, that, that the police, you know, need, police needs to get down to the root. And, and of course, there were also those in the church who, who didn't get injured or killed. So they also need to tell the stories of what happened. Would you... Would you say that um, the, the police has been on their game in ensuring the safety of the people and um, also ensuring that kidnaps and attacks are reduced to barest minimum? Well, uh, just like I, I said, the police, the police are grossly under-resourced, ill-equipped, and ill-trained to, you know, professionally discharge their duties of, of protecting lives and property. If you take the instance of the Lagos State uh, Model School girls who were kidnapped, mm. you saw how many days, how many months, nearly three months before they were rescued. And they were not rescued because of any efforts by the security agencies. The, family the families had to pay ransom. So credits cannot go to the police because although they made uh, efforts, but they could not rescue these children. Clearly, ransom was paid. The case of Evans, you can see the drama that it has turned into, you know, and uh, I don't know what has happened to that case now. So clearly, there are a few instances when police have been able to, yes, arrest, you know, suspected criminals, but these are rare occasions. Mm -hmm. But in the main, the safety and security of Nigerians have remained under threat because the police and other law enforcement agencies are not equipped enough to, you know, discharge those functions. Mm. So there's needs indeed for an increase in funding, in equipment, in training, so that the police can, you know, play their role in a, de in, 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 in a, in a democracy, you know, rather than themselves be becoming part of the, the, the problem. Because what you find is that in, in many places, the police themselves in many, in many states where crime is rife, police themselves, rather than help deal with crime, have themselves become part of the problem, compounding the, the, the crime by arresting people, branding them what they are not, extorting money from them, sometimes torturing them. And then, say, you know, so I think that all these, the truth is that when police are not able to um, prevent crime, they then resort to co committing crime. That's what we see. With all of these challenges that um, uh, you've talked about, is um, what then do you think the reform of the Nigerian police would achieve or should be targeted at? Well, first of all, between since Nigeria returned to civil rule in 1999, um, up to. Two, 2012, between 2006 and 2012, there have been four presidential commissions on police reform. Every government comes and sets up a, a presidential committee to reform the Nigerian police. In 2006, Obasanjo, who was the president, first president after Nigeria returned to democracy, mm -hmm. set up a, a commission that went around the country you know, conducted public hearings, received memoranda from people, and then came up with a good report with recommendations on the various aspects of the problem with the, with the Nigerian po po police. Now, what happened was that that report was not, the recommendations in that report were not in, implemented mm -hmm. until Yara Dua came, 2008, rather than you know, revisit that report. We set up yet another committee. After that one, 
Jonathan came, 2012, he set up yet another committee. So what happens is that every government comes setting up committees, not just about the police, but about everything in the country is a, a pretext to evade responsibility. When you don't want to do anything in Nigeria, you, you, you set up a, a committee. So that's what is going on. So it becomes a means not just to waste public resources and time, but also to provide job for party loyalists and friends. So that is what these committees are meant to, not really to. If they really want to reform the Nigeria police, reports have, are there, recommendations, far-reaching recommendations are there. In, mention any, any problem. Is it funding? Is it training? Is it uh, re, 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 recruitment? Every aspect of the Nigerian problem, the solutions have been clearly you know, understood. But it is the lack of political will on the part of government to implement genuine reforms that is bane of, of, of the safety and security in this country. So government must go back to those reports and implement recommendations that will help to improve public safety and security in this country. Mm -hmm.